Parrot Performance always rocks up at MotorX with a huge stand and a heap of really cool Mustangs. No one knows Mustangs better than Chris Herod himself. Mate, Thanks, Richie. tell us a bit about Wicked Pony here. Wicked Pony, what can I say? Um, I think the car says a lot for itself. Uh, we're very fortunate the owner of the car has done a lot of bodywork already. Yep. External things, the car's on airlift, suspension, um, he's got 315 tyres on all four corners yeah, of wow. his car. <laughs> so he's really gone all out. And, you've, um, and to, to match the looks, you've just done a bit of performance upgrade with it. Correct. Tell us about the, the Heli and Twin Turbo kit. We were very lucky enough, um, came to us to put a twin turbo kit on the car. Yep. Um, Dad being Rob Herod reached out to John Uris, the owner of Helion Turbo Systems yep. over in the USA, and he was very interested to get involved and develop a right-hand drive kit. But we've designed this very special. This is what we call the right-hand drive sleeper kit. Okay. So as if we have a look in the engine bay later on. There are no turbos. There are no turbos there are no present. Turbos. So what we've done with this is the two turbos are tucked up underneath the vehicle. Yep right near the transmission bell housing. Okay. Uh, the vehicle runs twin 62 precision turbos. Okay. And all I can say is I think this is going to be a barrel of fun. Oh yeah, it looks fun. It looks fast when it's standing still. <laughs> so I guess it's going to be pretty fast when it's going. And you've got a little bit of a Haltech thing going yeah, on so here as well. The best thing is we did reach out to you guys with Haltech and said, hey, this isn't going to be a normal type of setup. I want to, want to go down the path of your guys' race dash. Yep. You guys got involved. What can I say? We put in into this brand new 2017 Mustang the race, uh, sorry, the Haltech Race Dash. Yep. Um, what is it, the IQ3 Street Logger? I believe IQ3 we put on. Street Dash, yep. And um, no issues. It's working fantastically, and it's all come together perfect. And what sort of power is it making? Because it, it looks like it's making a lot of power. As it sits, it does. All I can say is everything came together so well for this kit. Yep. It's a red car. The number plate is Wicked Pony. Yep. The turbo system is. Hallian Turbo. Yep. Wednesday afternoon, sitting on the dyno, gave it a run, low boost of 15 psi, E85. Yep. We saw a dyno figure of 666, so 666. 666. <laughs> 0.9 rear hub kilowatts. Okay. 894 horsepower. Nice. 1,444 newtons of torque. Wow. In fourth gear. Excellent. Before 6,200 RPM. So if someone's, if someone's got a Mustang yeah. and they want to hot it up, they can bring it to you and that, that's what yeah, you can do. Yeah, this is now a retail kit that we're going to see be okay. supplying. Price on the kit, you're looking at 14000 supply for everything. Okay. Or drive in, drive out, one week, drop it off Monday, pick it up Friday, yep. 9500 drive in, drive out. Makes sense. It does. It's very easy. Yeah. And there's more potential in the kit than what you just get so in the base you, kit. So when you get used to that, we can always and you do always more. want a little bit more. Exactly. Brilliant. There's always that little bit more. Awesome. Well, it's almost 1.15 and we've got some Haltech powered burnout cars that are going to start up here now. It's going to get very loud, so it's time for fingers in ears. One of the things I really love about coming to MotorX here in Melbourne, Australia's second best city, is seeing all of the new unveiled cars. And this one is no exception. This is a 1955 F100 with a, a really big 400 cubic inch twin turbo Chevy engine. It's got a Haltech Elite 2500 running it and it's good for 1300 horsepower. So this one was tuned by our friend Adam at NPW. Um, they actually did all of the race fab, the wiring and the tuning of this car. The interior is beautiful, obviously the steering wheel's in the same Tiffany blue as the exterior. It's got brand new stitched leather interior and of course a Haltech dash. On our own stand here at MotorX, we're fortunate enough to have Nathan Borg's tough VL Commodore, which was built by you, Adam, at MPW. Yeah, it was, mate. Um, Nathan sent the car down to us with the rear end done and the cage already done by the guys up in Sydney. Uh, and then we took care of 
of the drive line management system and all the fabrication in the, the engine bay and the rest of and, and of course the engine package which I believe is pretty similar to your blue VK. It, it is yes yeah, so same camshaft same cylinder heads same powerhouse engines uh, 440 Q Dart LS. Um, I have an Elite 2500 in mine with a REM uh, this is actually running a 2500T okay. uh, and we're actually running both injectors per cylinder off of the same driver. Off the same driver. Is it as fast as yours? Not yet. Not yet. The car weighs a little bit more than mine yep. and we've only raced it once and first outing the car went 8-1 at 173 mile an hour. Which isn't bad for a first run. Not at all. So a lot of these cars we see the, the big turbos up high and everything, but you prefer to mount them down low. I like to keep the heat out of the engine bay um, because they're street cars as well. I like to keep them as subtle as possible. Uh, so this has got the same setup with the, the turbos down low as mine. They're actually hidden up underneath the front of the vehicle here. Um, we've got 50 millimeter uh, turbo smart wastegates underneath there as well. Um, it's just all nice and quiet. Full exhaust can actually then be ran. Um, so with these cars, we make the power on full exhaust. We race them with full exhaust, and it just lets us have bigger exhaust systems on them. And as you say, a street car, so it's got a full street interior as well. Yes, it does. Uh, the guys at Black Needle uh, Upholstery in Sydney, uh, one of the best trims we've seen. Uh, when this come back to us with the trim in it, we were all blown away. Yeah, it's lovely. It's it's it looks simple, but to make something look simple is the hardest job in the world. Yeah, true. Now the other car we've got here on the Haltech stand at MotorX is Geno's 67 Fastback Mustang. This is a very special car, it's actually got a Nelson racing engine in it, and that's the very first Nelson racing engine that came to Australia. It's a 427 cubic inch engine and it's got two turbos, so it makes quite a bit of power. With its two-speed power glide and nine-inch diff, it's set up as a drag car, but it hasn't seen the track yet, However, the guys at Tunnel Vision and Gino reckon it might have an eight or maybe a seven in it if we're lucky. Engine management is of course a Haltech Elite 2500 and on the inside, it's got a Haltech IQ3 dash. 